Hello. Hi, good morning. Welcome back. Today we've got a fairly long journey, but we're headed by rail to Northern Ireland, UK. Yay. So we're starting this journey over at Connolly Station. And from here, you can take the Ireland rail over to Northern Ireland. Wasn't too bad. We actually got first class tickets for 30 something euro a piece. Yeah. So not bad at all. Gosh, and the process was super easy. I feel like you did it in just a couple of clicks online. Yeah. So you book it online and then you have to come to the station and enter your reservation number and then collect your tickets. So we have our tickets and in this week's episode, we're gonna tell you why you should make Belfast one of your stops if you're in Ireland. I cannot wait. Uh, I'm gonna be taking a nap on this train because it's super early. It what is. time is it? It's like, it's... I think it's just seven o'clock now. Um, and I hope we're bundled up enough because it's gonna be chilly today. Yep, so we're off on the first train out, so let's go. Yay! This is on the Irish Rail Enterprise. We are headed up to Belfast. We have seats one and two, so it's nice and cozy because it's just the two of us. If you look just right ahead, there are some words, four seaters. We've sat in those before and had to be separated, so I'm glad we're sitting right next to each other this time. Yep. We got a little table for whatever snacks come. I think we can recline our seats. The chairs are fairly big and lots of leg room. Clean. Mine, it makes a noise like it's trying to recline, oh, but. Oh, whoa. whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get that? <laughs> whoa. Oh my goodness. Whoa. It's like on hydraulics. <laughs> but it's going the wrong way. Why, why is it trying to push you out? <laughs> Maybe it's to catapult me. Does yours do that? No. But it makes like a like an like, air noise, like a compression thing. All right, whatever. Our seats aren't reclining, but there's still, still plenty pretty. of room. I mean, all of this. Nice and clean. All of this. So, should be oh, a good journey. This is our name. Whoa! <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Okay. All right. All right. All right. That's neat. Okay. Well. We're impressed by the little things. <laughs> Good deal. Pass off a little window here. You can look out. And, uh, so this is a two hour or so ride. Hopefully we get snacks soon. Oh. I want some hot chocolate. Looks like there's a few calls too, so yeah, maybe six. Four. Oh, four? Okay. Yeah, that's so four. Well, let's get to it. sure exactly how long it was I fell asleep oh I was up the whole time it was a really awesome experience it was very comfortable so it took about two hours oh well that's not bad yeah no it wasn't bad at all and right when we got off there was a great northern oh my train gosh. right next to us so neat yes so let's go explore Belfast yes absolutely let's do it <laughs> First stop when you're in Belfast? St. George's Market, especially if you're here on a weekend. This is a 19th century market and we hope to check out all kinds of stands inside. So let's see what's in there. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> it's like, uh, do you really want to go in here? One 
once upon a time in Belfast. The 12th largest city in the United Kingdom. Wow, I like that it's indoors. It will be so cool. <laughs> Some marmalade. Some fudge. After you're done with the market, which was a really cool market, you've got to come over to the city hall and the areas around it. But yeah. what do we have at the city hall? Well, it looks like there's a lot to check out inside. They have a Titanic garden, they have a cafe, and I don't know, it almost looks like maybe a Christmas market is back there. Belfast Christmas Market. <laughs> Titanic Garden here with this memorial. This Christmas market is in the city hall right next to the Titanic Garden. Whoa. Hot dinky donuts. The Christmas market. Solid. Solid. This one, this one in Belfast is, is massive. It's very big, tons of vendors. You can honestly eat all day long if you wanted to. I mean, I, I think I could, really. There's so many stands and they cover the whole world essentially. I mean, we saw one from Mexico. There was uh, Dutch pancakes. There was Southern Italian pastries. I mean, anything, anything your heart desires. We even saw paella, right? Yeah. Towards the beginning. Yeah. Yeah, so a lot kind of, of stuff. A lot of stuff. I got some fudge. I got three different kinds, homemade by three sisters. Two, two sisters oh, here two in Belfast. Okay. It, it it was great. They offered us a sample. I tried it. It melted in my mouth. Oh, sold. The packaging is very very attractive, and they have good marketing because I've seen several stands for them already. Yeah. I had hot chocolate in here. It's gone now. It had tiny little marshmallows and whipped cream. Mmm, warm me up. Yeah, it's it's really good. Christmas time, don't miss this one. So by City Hall, come here and hang out. Yep. All right, good deal. So let's go on to the next stop. Continuing our walking tour in Belfast, we came to our next stop. Yes, which is the Albert Memorial Clock or more commonly referred to as the Albert Clock. Check it out, it's right back there. The sun is hitting it just nicely right now, so it looks so pretty. This was completed in 1869, and it's one of the most iconic parts of Belfast, so it's definitely a must stop on your walking tour here. Seems like this entire area has all of like royal family stuff because we were we just passed the Victoria Square. Yes. There's 
uh, the Anne Bridge over there and the Queen Elizabeth Bridge is back there somewhere. And this whole area is covered with a ton of shopping options and also lots of restaurants and pubs. So there's so much to see and do just wandering around. You almost really, it's better to not have uh, an itinerary. Just kind of wander and see what you come across. It's pretty cool. All right, we're here at our next stop. So the clock is back there. So if you keep walking, then you get to this big fish. Unassuming at first, but tell us what what it's got. So this is the salmon of knowledge here in Belfast, and why this particular salmon is so unique. It actually has different tiles created by uh, people and even kids telling the story of Belfast. So we need to go up close and see some of them so we can read about it. I thought there'd be something on, like, the Titanic here. Oh, maybe. Cattle. Belfast Daily. Mercury. Mercury. That's paper. That's cool. The soldier. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Political satire cartoons. See, we got a little bit of frost on top. And funny enough, we just went to Pandora in the shopping area, and I found two different charms for this particular trip. So one of them is a salmon, so I'll be adding that to my collection. And then the other one is, uh, what, what was the other one? It was a clover. Oh yeah, it was a clover, but it was really pretty because it had uh, all the, it was really sparkly. So I like it. Great stop, little bit of history. We're gonna take a peek at some of these and... Hang out by the river for a little while. Yeah. It's actually kind of warm right here. It's, it is nice, the sun is over here. <laughs> of course, the other thing that you have to do when you're in Belfast, hop over to a pub. Which one did we go to? We went to Never Duke of York. Yet. So it's right behind us here on the left, down this really pretty street with all the umbrellas. Um, it's been here for a really long time, and kind of its appeal is that it's that original pub without all the fancy new stuff. So. There ain't no frills. You go in, order whatever you want, and grab a seat somewhere. I will say, they don't have food. No, no food. So <laughs> don't food. go for lunch or dinner. But now, now we need food. Yes, we definitely need food. So we're gonna walk. Um, the guy at the bar actually recommended this next place where we're gonna go to. His instructions were intensely hysterical. He basically said, he pointed out and he said, you're gonna go straight, make a left, make a right, make a left. I was like, okay. Wait. <laughs> so that's what we're gonna do. Right we made outside. a left, now we're gonna make a right, now we're gonna make another left. Or something like that. We pulled up the directions, <laughs> just. Just in case, just but in I case. think we need to go this way, yep. Are these all pubs? 
This is a very trendy area. Yeah, look at this. That's cool. You guys, and I'm noticing every single pub has people in there. What are these people just drink all day long? What's happening? I would be falling all over the place if I drank that much. Music center. Right? Doesn't it feel very artsy around here? Yeah. Oh, look at this. Red Bull Music Academy. What? <laughs> Gives you wings. <sighs> Let's find some food. All right, we're in the area. It, it wasn't far, actually. It but his his directions were very accurate. I mean, we literally made yeah. a left, a right, and then a left. Yeah, you just don't know when to make that left or right. <laughs> but we're here. It's this place, Common Market. We looked it up online too, just to be certain. And it looks like it's a great place for indecisive people because it just has a whole bunch of stuff. It is, it's a massive food hall, so I'm thrilled to just check out what options they have. And it, yeah, look, it looks like it's an upstairs, downstairs type of thing. And we've seen these everywhere we've traveled. There's, I mean, the whole food hall concept is very popular right now. Yeah. It's even back home. Just get a whole bunch of stuff from different places, very tapas style. It just makes sense, right? And we haven't said it yet in this episode, but man, it is cold. So we're gonna our try to eat inside. And our fingers are ready to fall off. Yep. Let's, let's go. Ooh. It smells great. It's just a blast of different foods. Oh my gosh. What'd you get? Oh my gosh, so there was this Polish stand over here. It's called Ball and Roll. And for whatever reason, I've been wanting a hot dog. I've seen so many people eating hot dogs here today. And oh, look at this. It's like crispy onions, it's all kind of sauces. This looks amazing. And then I also got these macaroni and jalapeno spring roll. So it's one cut into half. And to drink, they have a separate drink stand. I originally ordered a white Russian. She ran out of uh, milk, so I opted for, I think it was like a coconut Christmas type drink. So yeah. this looks yummy. What did you get? I got waffle fries and a vegan chicken sandwich. Look at you, and what's that sauce? Uh, Chipotle mayo, so not vegan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not vegan. I just, uh, I enjoy the taste of chicken sometimes. Chicken? <laughs> so. and, a, and a baby Coke. And a, and a little Coke for me. So, yeah. Cool little place. <laughs> Let's dig in. Quite a bit to do in Belfast. A yeah. lot of shops and shopping, some local shops, some chain type things. Lots of bars. Lots of bars. Lots of bars, lots of restaurants. It's just a really great place to walk around and just explore all day long. Yeah, I mean, from what we saw though, a day trip out here if you're in Ireland or close around, yeah, a day trip would be solid at best two days maybe and overnight yeah. if you want to go bar hopping a little bit and hit up some of the um, tourist attractions that are a little bit further out there's a Titanic Museum that's a worthy mention there's a Belfast Castle also that's a little bit further out so those could be good items to add to your itinerary if you come by yeah I mean it we had a great time here in Belfast and as chilly as it was as cold as it was <laughs> yeah so now we are gonna take the train back over to Dublin and we'll see you next week. Yeah, definitely. We wanted to just show you the pretty lights though. Isn't this awesome? So we're making our way back to the train station. So we'll be going by the Christmas market again and now it's all lit up. So don't forget, if you liked our video, make sure you like, subscribe and comment. We'll see you next week.